God's view of that individual. One of the things that I love to do as a teacher is to be able to get to know children a little bit better. And one of the things we do is evaluate, do observations. We spend some time talking to parents and teachers to try to understand that child a little bit better. What ends up happening when we're done is we sit down with a pair of green and pink markers. And we talk about things that are gift areas for that child and we color those in green. And we talk about things that are hot spots, things that are more difficult, and we color those in pink. And you come up with this profile of gifts and needs for that particular individual. And what I love about this is that it, it correlates in my mind with that psalm that talks about I've, that God has knit us together in our mother's womb. That he took that yarn and he mixed each one of us with his special recipe, his knitting pattern for us to be combinations of things that are easy for us and things that are a bit more difficult. I know for myself, if I were to talk about my green and pink part, my green is words. I love words. I love to say them. I love to play with them, scrabble, boggle. I love to write them. Anything to do with words is fun for me. That's a green area. But anything that involves eye-hand coordination is not nearly as easy for me. Uh, if my kids want to take me on in one of the Xbox games or PlayStation games, they will win because that's a pink area for me. That's part of my design. That's things that I'm good at and things that are more difficult for me. But I think sometimes when a person has a disability, we're tempted to only see the pink part of that person. We look at that person and we might say, oh, that's wheelchair Sally or that cerebral palsy Sue, or that's autistic Bob, or Down syndrome Ryan. And instead, we forget that that's an individual who has been hand-knit by God with a specific pattern, who also has gifts and needs. <laughs>